The Costa Rica Initiative, uh, the partnership between Potomac Academy and our School of Music here at George Mason University, has been really incredible. I was very privileged to be a part of uh, this program for the first of the two weeks that we spent in San Jose. And I can say with um, great enthusiasm how wonderful um, our six international teaching scholars uh, performed on this experience. We brought in the embassy of uh, Costa Rica and worked with Ambassador Makaya to make sure that instruments could be shipped for the program. And we also worked with the Ministry of Culture's office where we had made contacts before and were able to make those really valuable connections to the SINEM programs, their system of music education in Costa Rica. We wanted them to really get into the country and work with the SINEM students directly, uh, let them take in instruments and see what that felt like to really give back to, uh, to a program like that, and also let them have an enriching experience working at the National Institute and with the National Band of Costa Rica. So all of this really started at the National Institute of Music in San Jose, which is the flagship music training program for the country of Costa Rica. Um, this is a school that now Mason has visited, um, I want to say this is maybe our third time there with students to uh, perform and to have opportunities to work with faculty. The, the Banda de Conciertos uh, is widely regarded as Costa Rica's premier concert band and it was a great honor to work with such marvelous musicians and uh, just wonderful people, especially a real joy to watch our George Mason University students interact uh, on a personal and artistic basis with the players in this fine band. At the conservatory, um, Sammy and I got the opportunity to meet with the oboe professor and three of his students and we just sat there and we played duets and trios for like two hours and it was just awesome to be able to connect over oboe. I feel like after this trip I've really wanted to just expand my teaching a lot, just build a bigger studio um, and just do a lot more with teaching, not just the performance side because it's so valuable. The future you know, students that you're teaching are future performers so it's just kind of, it goes in a circle. And of course one of our biggest uh, contributors to this program from a community vantage point was our wonderful partnership with Day Violins. We took the students to uh, the violin shop and although none of them were string players, uh, we did give them the chance to learn how to do some basic instrument repair, which not only was an important skill for them to have while in Costa Rica, but will be something that they can take with them into their future. From our first trip, we knew that there was a school that had many instruments in total disrepair. And in a day and a half, totally refurbished their entire string inventory. It was a sight to behold. I remember they took us into the room where they had all the instruments and Victor, who was in charge of the instruments at the time, showed us the room, showed us what was available and, and there was just this big room full of broken instruments. There's been so, so many situations in my life as a teacher and as a shop owner now where I walk in and I think this is, this is, this is terrible, I, I would never want a child to be able to learn on an instrument like this. And when I saw all of those instruments, um, I, I just, I, I, I didn't, I don't think we stopped for 12 or 13 hours, you know, just going and looking and working in instruments, gluing things back together. So what that means is through this program, we were able to get a hundred instruments into the hands of students who didn't have the opportunity to do that before. And that's just so gratifying. We absolutely could not have done that without many generous sponsors that helped uh, support this not only with their enthusiasm and their energy, uh, but also their monetary donations. One person in particular, J.P. Faup, and because of his generosity, we were able to establish the International Teaching Scholars Awards. And these awards were given directly to the students to help support to offset the costs of what the trip was going to be. Being involved at George Mason University and its music program, I saw that there was an opportunity, there was a need there, but also it provides a, uh, an important opportunity for our George Mason music teaching students 
to have a chance to experience teaching in another country like this, to uh, adapt to their cultures and the way of doing things and, and to enrich the experience that uh, our George Mason students have. Music is not only about learning how to perfect your technique on your instrument and learning to share that gift with others, but it really makes an enormous difference on transforming a society. And that came through in ways that would have just not have been possible in any other way.